Hello Hazel Glen families. Today I'd hoped our middle school captains could have joined me in presenting the newsletter. But as we have come to expect, unfortunately, the world has changed again in the last 24 hours and we are now in Melbourne's sixth lockdown. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for your support, diligence and just hanging in there with us as we all try to do what's best for our students. I'd like to also acknowledge and thank our teachers and staff here at Hazel Glen. So many of you are juggling your own families whilst providing as much stability as possible for your students. There have been many late nights, long days and hard challenges that you have faced and you have held your head up as best you can. I, along with many of us, thank you for getting up every day to help our kids. As Mr Stockwell has voiced on many occasions, our priority is the health, safety and well-being of our students, family and staff. Please reach out if we can help in any way and thank you for those who already provided feedback. Please know we are taking it on board and making shifts in how we do things accordingly. Now on to the rest of the newsletter. On Thursday, the 15th of July, middle school were able to hold the award ceremony for students who excelled in semester one. There was a last minute scramble to alter the ceremony due to tighter COVID restrictions. And unfortunately, our students could not be in the crowd to congratulate award recipients in person. Students were awarded for academic excellence, endeavor, with citizenship and co-curricular awards given for students who showed exceptional leadership and resilience across the semester. These special award winners were citizenship awards, for Year 5, Cody O and Eva. Year 6, Nate C and Lily G. Year 7, Nathan W and Avali M. Year 8, Ziggy C and Evelyn W. For our co-curricular awards, Year 5, Samuel S and Jasmine S. Year 6, Alexander J and Olivia S. Year 7, Amelia S and Triana F. And Year 8, Lachlan R and Sajani J M. When we are allowed to see our kids return to school, not only is this very important to return to routines and balance in very busy households, but routines are very important also in terms of our students' academic, social and emotional development. Over the past year, we have seen a range of experiences and emotions in our young people. Emotions and feelings range from happiness and joy at returning to school social groups and learning, to anxiety and worry for some students who thrived in remote learning environment. It's our task to support these wide range of emotions, validate them and accommodate them as best as possible as students try to manage an uncertain world. Many in the community may know Rob Gordon, clinical psychologist, so integral in his work in Black Saturday bushfire recovery. His ongoing work in disaster recovery, particularly with children and adolescents, helps to inform our response in this current COVID-19 pandemic. At a recent principal forum, Rob made some important points. Many students will be fine. Students cannot learn until they feel emotionally secure. Once students feel emotionally safe, they will catch up with their learning quickly. Worry and anxiety may manifest in different ways according to the uniqueness of our students. Some may become withdrawn, some might be fixated on routine, some may act out, particularly with people they trust, and of course, many will be fine. Schools and families must prioritise this safety by re-establishing firm boundaries and routines, ensuring positive relationships and validating these feelings and affirming that it's okay to feel how they feel. I can't thank you enough for your ongoing support of the college and the support of the young people in your care. We're all trying to do our absolute best to do what we believe is right and I look forward to our continued partnerships throughout this time and beyond. Our teachers are working really hard to provide students with opportunities to engage in learning in a way they haven't been able to over this pandemic period. Dependent on changing restrictions and the impeding threat of future lockdowns, we continue to plan for excursions, sports and camps in the hope that they will be able to proceed. In the upcoming weeks we have, in week six, Science Week activities, year five and six Sovereign Hill excursions. In week seven, we have Book Week activities, in week eight, year eight, excursion to Crow Castle and the Matilda production. Week nine, house performing arts. And in week 10, footy day. It is so very important that our students are back in the classroom learning the fundamentals of literacy, numeracy and other disciplines. But it's also important our students get back to doing the things they can't do during remote learning. Learning how to interact with one another in a positive way and developing the courage to try something new. 
This is why we continue to plan for these opportunities in 2021 and beyond.